M. Narasimha Rao, lecturer in physics. A rod of weight W is supported by two parallel knife edges, capital A and capital B, and is in equilibrium in a horizontal position. The knives are at a distance D from each other. The center of mass of the rod is at a distance X from A. The normal reaction on A is According to the given problem, this AB represents the horizontal rod. This is a knife edge. It is also knife edge. This horizontal rod is balanced by the two knife edges which are placed at A and at B. The distance between the two knife edges are D. D is the distance between the two knife edges capital A and capital B. Weight of this rod is acting exactly at the center of mass. That weight is represented by W. This center of mass of this rod is at a distance of X from the point A, knife edge A. This total distance between A and B is D. This distance is X. This remaining distance is D minus X. Now please listen. These are the two knife edges at A and B. Now, this horizontal rod is the horizontal rod is balanced at these knife edges. These knife edges are exerting normal reaction. Normal reaction at the point A. This knife edge is exerting normal reaction at the point B. Normal reaction means it is perpendicular to the surface of contact acting upward. Here there is a surface of contact. This normal reaction is acting at the point A in upward direction. N2 represents the normal reaction at the point B. Weight of the rod is acting exactly at the center of mass. Now please listen here. This rod is not moving up, not moving down along the y direction, along the vertical, this rod is in equilibrium. In vertical equilibrium, in vertical equilibrium, in vertical equilibrium of rod, Vertical equilibrium of rod. Vertically, it is a vertically equilibrium means what? Total upward force is equals to total downward force along y direction. Now please listen here. Now in vertical direction it is in equilibrium. Total upward force is equal to total downward force. Total upward force total upward force along along y axis is equal to total downward force downward force along y axis now please listen here normal reaction n1 is acting up at the point a Normal reaction N2 is acting up at the point B. N1 and N2 are the normal reactions. At A and at B, both are acting in upward direction. N1 and N2, both are in same direction. You have to add these two. 
total upward force n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 is equal to total downward force here weight of the rod is acting downward total downward force means w w now please it plus it is a plus n1 comes to this side minus n1 n2 is equal to w minus n1 w minus n1 it is a equation number 1 now please listen here now 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 please listen here this torque of this rod is balanced about the center of mass Torque of the rod, torque is balanced, torque is balanced about center of mass of rod, center of mass of rod. Now please listen, only normal reaction N1 only acting, if, if, only normal reaction n1 is acting if n1 is acting up if n1 is acting up this rod is turned this rod is turned about the center of mass in clockwise direction suppose if n2 normal reaction n2 is or if if only N2, normal reaction, N2 at the point B is acting. If norm N2 is acting on this rod and about the center of mass, the rod is turned in anti-clockwise direction. If N2 is acting, then the rod is turned in anti-clockwise direction. About the center of mass, it is a balanced. Its meaning is torque in the clockwise direction is equal to torque in the anti-clockwise direction. Torque. Torque in clockwise direction is equal to torque in torque in anti-clockwise direction. Torque formula. Force into perpendicular distance. Torque formula force into perpendicular distance. Torque means force into perpendicular distance. About in clockwise direction. Torque formula force into perpendicular distance. In anti-clockwise direction. I am talking about the clockwise direction. Clockwise, clockwise direction. Force, nothing but a normal reaction. Normal reaction N1. In clockwise, in clockwise direction, force means N1. N1. Perpendicular distance from axis of rotation. This rod is balanced about center of mass. Perpendicular distance from this force is x. Force from this force, perpendicular distance is x. About the center of mass, it is balanced. Perpendicular distance means x. That is equal to. I am talking about anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise torque. Now, force. In, if N2 only applied, the rod is turned in anti-clockwise direction. Force in the anti-clockwise direction is equal to N2. N2. Perpendicular distance from the, from the force. It is the force, normal reaction. From this force, perpendicular distance is B minus X. B minus X. Now please listen here. N1 X. N1. N1 X is equal to N2, N2, N2 means W minus N1, N2 means W minus N1, N2 means W minus N1 into 
d minus x. Now please listen here. N one x is equal to w into d w into d w d minus w into x w x minus into plus minus n one into d n one d minus into minus plus n one into x n one x now please listen here please listen here n one x it plus n one x comes to this side minus n one x is equal to here here please listen here please listen here w d minus w x minus n one d n one x minus n one x zero n one x minus n one x zero zero is equal to in these two terms. I am taking a W common. Wait, 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 common. D. W common means remaining is D. W common means remaining is X minus N1 into D. It is a minus N1D comes to this side plus minus N1D comes to this side plus N1D. N1D is equals to W into D minus X. Now please listen. We need only n one. We need only n one. D comes to denominator. We need only n one. D comes to denominator. That implies n one is equal to n one is equal to w into d minus x by and now d comes to denominator. This is the normal reaction acting at the point a.